Hi, my name is Corey Holden and I'm an Applications Engineer for Hawkridge Systems. And this video is about how to use the Mounting Boss feature. Now the Mounting Boss feature in SOLIDWORKS could be used for something like plastic injection molded parts. It's really just the perfect way to add complex geometry for your hardware really quickly and easily inside SOLIDWORKS. So what you'll notice is I've got this model and it's just kind of a hollow plastic shell and I'm going to add my Mounting Boss portion in here. So I can just jump into my features and in my command manager I'll click on my mounting boss command. Now my first selection that I'm populating here is how I want to position my mounting boss. And I can either position this by a 3D sketch point or in this case I don't have a 3D sketch point inside my model so I can click on a face to locate this mounting boss. So I'll click on this face and you're going to notice that it's going to send this off at kind of a weird angle based on the curvature of that face. Well, if I want to really just hone in on the direction here, what I can do is I can select my direction by populating this box in my mounting boss command, and I'll use the top plane to define which way that mounting boss is going to go. And notice that the mounting boss is going to go in the perpendicular direction out from my plane. And again, if I want this to go outside my model, or if for some reason that mounting boss was going the wrong direction, I can always reverse the direction by making this selection right here inside the command. Also, I have multiple boss types in here. So notice I use the one which is the head type. And this is for something like a recessed cavity to hold your hardware head. But if I wanted the opposite, if I wanted something like uh, an extrusion with kind of a hole in it to add threads to, I would use my thread selection here for my boss type. Something else too is notice that this makes the command really quick and easy, is there's this geometry selection down here. So I can just input all of the dimensions inside my model to really create this complex boss feature really quickly and easily. It's all labeled, so for example if I want to change the height, I would just change A. And I could change that from something like 12 millimeters to 10 very quickly and easily. Also, notice my mounting boss has some fins in it, maybe for some structural support and integrity. Well, I can change all of the geometry of my fins. Again, the same here, just like changing the geometry conditions in my boss. It's as easy as changing the numbers. And if I don't want any fins at all, well, I can just change from 4 to 0. Or if I wanted less, you know, I could do 2, 3, any number accordingly. So once I've created my boss, I'll just go ahead and click the green arrow to accept this mounting boss command. SOLIDWORKS is going to create it for me inside my part, even with the recessed cavity. And notice it's created and added this mounting boss feature over here in my feature manager design tree. So I want to edit the position. Well, in order to edit the position, what you'll notice is SOLIDWORKS has also created this 3D sketch. This 3D sketch, if I go in and edit it, is what's locating my mounting boss on my part. It's a simple 3D sketch point, so at any time I can come back in here and edit this sketch point and move it in my model. So I'll make it coincident to the edge of the face, and I'll also go ahead and add an on-plane relation between that point and my right plane, just to fully define it. Once I've added these relations, notice it's shifted where that 3D sketch point is, and of course SOLIDWORKS is going to rebuild my mounting boss in the center of my model based on where I've moved that 3D sketch point. So it's really quick and easy to make edits and change this around. At the end, I'm going to have this nice complex mounting boss done really quickly and easily in SOLIDWORKS by simply selecting a face I want to place it on, and adding the dimensions for the geometry of this mounting boss. So in this video we covered how to use the mounting boss feature. Thanks for watching and look for more videos from Hawkridge Systems.